All right, so I'm Mike. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakako Dash. Let it get double honors to the positive of those great millstone, Lady C. Shalom, to the elect. that teaches the word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today, uh, I just want to get into a lesson uh, about how America is it, pretty much, we at the end of this place, man. And you know, that's pretty much the gospel, man. You know, that it's a light at the end of the tunnel. But, you know, it's not it's not like, you know, there's something that you shoot from the hip from, with that, man. You know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah actually gave us signs of this place going out of here, man. We actually see the signs of America dying, you know. And it's to the point that these devils know that, man. You know. So, I getting pretty much basing this lesson off this article, which is, you know, a few months back. But, hey, this still in play, man. It's not like... When this came out that America got better, no, it actually got worse, man. You know? So this is uh, from the conversation.com. And it says, it reads, Is America a failing state? How a superpower has been brought to the brink. See? And matter of fact, I think I got this word brink. Yep, this word brink. An extreme edge of land before a steep or a vertical slope. See, meaning what? America was once on the top of the mountain, man. This man was at the peak, man. But guess what? That little peak, the peak, the, the way he at now, you know, he's, he's, uh, really, we in the process of this man falling now, man. He is already falling off of that, that was said, the brink of the cliff. See, matter of fact, let's get this in songs real quick. Because we, we actually in the process of this man falling. That's why, you know, this man reaching by the way of these, you know, you got this man has uh, throw out some, you know, this many people died of coronavirus. You don't see nothing, no evidence of that, you know, or whatever the case may be. Uh, him, uh, uh, you know, he reaching and he screaming by the way of his laws and legislations. That let us know that this man is falling, man. You know, it says... This is Psalm 73 in verse 18. It says, Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. See? Thou castest them down into discretion. Yeah, because this man was once on the top of the mountain. But man, now we're in the process of this man falling, man. You know? And a lot of people don't see that. These Americans don't see it, you know, until this place hit the ground. You know? Till that splatter come, man. You know? Ultimately, that's going to come by the way that uh, uh, the Third World War, you know. You know, but we're in the, we're in the, we're in the, we're in the, pro we're in the process of this man falling, man. It says, a point of which something, typically something unwelcome, see, is about to happen, the verge. It says, the country was on the brink of a constitutional crisis, see. See, man. And guess what? This country, the country that this sentence is talking about is America, man. You know, because you know, when this when uh this devil, you know, declared a state of emergency, that was a soft version of martial law, man. Your constitutional rights of they don't matter no more, man. And people don't even know it yet, man. But once they once once them truths get well, they are already here, once they get activated. Once that, that's all they, it see, there's a point in time where all they got to activate them now. They already in place, you know. They ain't been shipping, you know, um, by the way, of trains. You've been seeing like these uh, uh, trucks or whatever, you know, these different military vehicles for, for months on end, man. You know, just for them, not for you not to sell no more. No, they have been strategically put in place, man. So the only thing now, when Trump, when he signed on troops, they they over here. Only thing now he gotta do is activate them, man. You know. But this is all the signs of this devil. You know. Uh, you know, is 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 come going out of power, man. You know. So this is um. So it said how it says America a failing state. How a superpower has been brought to the brink. See. So this man, he's on the edge of a total collapse, man. So it said, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, that was a sense of history had ended. 
and that the United States represented a supreme endpoint. See, so America was that why it was known as that golden city, man. It was this was the standard of the planet Earth. This is what everybody wanted to be like, man. That's why you got to make donors everywhere, man. Everybody wanted to be like America, man. You know, it says today the U.S. is not dominant. Dominant, see, so she don't look good no more. You know, she got she got uh, wrinkles. You can smell her now. Her breath stank. That's America for you today, man. It said it is in crisis, convulsed by riots and protests, riven by a virus that has galloped away from those charged with overseeing it. And heading into a presidential election led by a man that pot has bought him. <coughs> so like you, that has possibly divided the nations like no other before him. See? And these are the plays the Lord have put upon America, man. You know? These are these plays. See, this place is actually being tortured, man. By the way of this, man. It's like a disease that's going inside your body. Within the United States... All these things are going on, man. It's it's unease, man. You know that's why it, um Lord said He sent earthquakes. Those are uh, earth shaking events, man. You know events that will um will, will will shake you, man. You know, so you see the riots going on. You know this 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 so called coronavirus. You know. Uh, this this presidential election, which is is two jokes. That's been that's that's our, that our nominees, you know. And then it says the the one that the president, you know, DJ Trump, this man has has divided the nation, man. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, and we already know. Matter of fact, let's get that. Because even back then, it was a lot of you know, even might the hate old bum, but they were like, man, you know, that's the president though, you know. But with this nigga Trump, man, there, there's nothing, ain't no compromise when, when it come down to Trump, man. You know, so this is St. Matthew 12 and 25. It said, and Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. See? And we see that, man. You know? You got these different militia groups. You know, and they and they're against their own government, man. You know, they're against their own government, man. You know these different Edomite groups, man. You know, um, this devil, man, when he's trying to uh, with this 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 vaccine. You know, a lot of these Edomites, well, they they most of them probably Jake. You know, down here in the um, you know, the Bible Belt area, well, uh, they know about the mark of the beast, man. So it's gonna that's it's gonna it's nothing but turmoil and distress that's gonna that's gonna be here, man. It's nothing else. Uh is that why scripture said and only evil is coming, man. These we are these are the signs that America is going out, man. It's not just gonna be a, an erupt end, which is gonna come to a erupt end, but we see the signs. We know this place finna die off, man. You know? Matter of fact, let's see, um, Jeremiah, I think it's 51. <clears throat> yep, this is Jeremiah 51 and 8. Babylon is suddenly falling in the scroll, see? And that's what it, they're going off on the brink. It's suddenly happening, you know? You just, it, when you go down, when you hit us, you know, it's, it ain't different. It's, it's not you, you going down a slide. No, you actually, it's a straight drop, man. So that that's sudden. When you see some, you can see somebody slide, but a, a straight job. Just look at the um, you know, them cartoons. You know where they might cut the branch off, and then where they cut it off, that part fall, and it's a sudden drop, man. But that's what that's what's happening to America, man. You know, it it suddenly fell off. You know, it says uh, Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her, take bone for her pain. If so be she may be healed. And yeah, see, and that's why they, when uh, the flesh was divided, man. That's an open wound, man. That's why I said they was divided against each other, man. That's why it's not going to stand. And that's why you see the uh, Israel 
we once again the the sort of another tribe is becoming uh is coming together. We being healed, man. You know, but you see Esau, he's being wounded, man. He has been once again struck him with a wound that's not going to be healed, man. You know, it said we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go, everyone, to his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven, and is even lifted up to the skies. So, Babylon, is, is, is she got hit, man. Ain't no way you can bring her back, man. You know, ain't no way you can bring her back, man. This is it for America, man. It, it, you know, this devil has already ran his course. You know, and then the scripture said it was going to just be for a little season, man. You know, do just for a little season, man. So let's go back. <coughs> Continue on this article, which I ain't, see, probably this, this little session right here. Uh, it says, using the most common metrics available to political scientists, these are the signs of the United States is failing. See, so they... So these are the the formulas for a failed state, man. You know, just going through history and seeing, you know, what caused this king to fall, what caused that king to fall. Well, that's what these devils thoroughly went through. And as you can see, it's happening to America. And guess what? It's not just going to be one thing. It's gonna cause the place fall. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be hitting on every level, man. That's why I say it's gonna be. That's why I said Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. See, the Lord been taking piece by piece. You know, He was destroying it little by little, man. Matter of fact, I think that's in um. Let's see. I think that's in Wisdom Psalm twelve chapter. Let me see. Yep. This is um uh yeah this is um this is William Solomon's twelve I started Alright Oh yeah it's toward the top okay all right, yeah, this um, Wisdom Psalm 12 and 2 said, Therefore, chastenest thou them little by little that offend, and warnest them by putting them in remembrance they have offended. No, that ain't it. I think it's this right here. So, like, yeah, this is verse, I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, That the land which thou esteemest above all might receive a worthy colony of the Most High's children. Mm, it's to my delay. It said, "Nevertheless, even thou, even those thou sparest as men, and didst send whilst forerunners of thine host to destroy them little by little, not that thou was unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of the righteous in battle, or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts, or with one rough word." See, so the Lord, that's how the Lord did the Canaanites with uh, who was taking over the land. It was it was a process, man. You know, he was sending walls. You know, he he it was certain plays that was hitting him. You know, you know to get him to drive him away, man. And the same thing the Lord is doing to this devil, man. The Lord is hitting this man on all points, man. You know, Lord bossing this man out. Ain't like he just hit him in the face the whole time. He hit him in his ribs. You know, he getting that liver, man. He got it he, in the abdomen, man. You know. This man is wild on all levels, man. He, the Lord's taking a stretch away from this man on all levels, man. You know, they couldn't, you know, it, the Lord uh, hitting about the way this, uh, you know, like uh, past times of America, you know, going shopping, you know, uh, these different retail stores, the very pillars of America, such as Sears and Kmart and JCPenney, all these places, they've been put out of business, man. You know? Just, they're just some, there's, the Lord's, is destroying them little by little, man. It says, and it said he 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 could have did it. The Lord could have did it with one worth word, man. He could have said no more, no more America, and that would have been it, man. 
You know, it said, but as in cutting thy judgments upon them little by little, little and little, thou gavest them a place of repentance, and not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation, and that their malice was bred in them, and that their cogitation would never be changed. See, so that lets you know that this just now to my these devils, man. Why? Because it said the malice was bred in them. They were created to be the wicked, man. You know. So the Lord is, is he, hey, that's why um he looked down, saw his man, said there's the, the, the fool says there's, there, uh, there's no power. They have done abominable works. See, it's built in them to be the wicked, man. You know? But the Lord is he's getting them little by little. You see everything, the very fabric of America, the strength of this place is being taken away. Matter of fact, if I go back. And it's, and it's all a process. You know, it's all a process. It's, it's just like um, you unthreading some, you know. And that's what's going to happen. That means what? The foundation that is going to be weakened, man. That means it's not going to stand. So this Joel 18 and, um, and 12, it said, His strength shall be hunger bitten, and his destruction shall be ready at his side. See? So his strength is going to be hunger bent. Meaning what? He's going to is 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 going to be lacking, man. His his strength is lacking. See, it was a point of time this man had a full grip, man. But guess what? He's losing it from inside out, man. He's he's losing it inside out. He's starting even starting with these elite bankers and these in these councils, man. They losing it, man. And guess what? Now you seeing being played out on the outside now, man. You know, so let's go back to um, so like you. So let's start, go back to this article. It said, Using the most common metrics available to the political scientists, there are signs the United States are failing. See, so it says, Until very recently, this idea was extraordinary, so they would never think they would say, Who such thinks such a thing that America. Would, would never bounce back or never fall out of power. Well, guess what? It said unthinkable to all but the most radical critics. See, the only ones that's really said it is possible, you know. It says, but the U.S. is increasingly performing poorly on key predictors of state failure. See, so everything that's, uh, that you need to be on point with, this, this, this place... Is uh, it's losing it, man. You know, and this is all the workings of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh man. You know, it's an ethnic and class conflict, and don't you see that by the way of so-called Black Lives Matter? You know, that's a that's a conflict. That's by the way. That's that's what you see with these rights, man. Oh, the class conflict. You know, with this uh. This uh is is massive problem. You got they cutting out the middle class, man. No, no, no. Were, um, it says uh, smaller group, rich and poor, man. Ain't say rich, the middle class, and then and cause that was that was part of what made that was that standard of the U.S. man. That what made that, that what made this place uh, America that 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 golden city. Everybody looked looked unto this place cause they had a middle class, man. You know, you can get you a nine to five and trick off on the weekend. You know, that's that's what um so called fabulous fifties and you know that what made this place it, it was you uh you looking at this woman, you marveling at her, man. You know? But now all that's being taken away. It's gonna be a rich and a poor, that's it, man. You know? It says democratic and institutional black sliding, see? <clears throat> was hey you know politics man is all what what sound good man but it's the same thing you know but guess what people are catching on to it now man it says and other socio economic indicators including healthcare and inequality so let me see socio let's see what that means. Okay, kind of says socioeconomic 
status is that so like a status is the social standing or class of an individual or group. Okay, it is often measured as a combination of education, income, and occupation. See? So your standing aside, which ultimately it goes back to where Jake, man, you know. Cause that's that's at the end of the day, you know, this devil want the birthright and he's trying to get get rid of Jake at the same time, man. And that and that spirit of hate is once again on the planet Earth, man. You know? It's once again on the planet Earth. So I'm just that's that's pretty much it on that. But as you can see, we're in the steps of this place falling, man. We we see these are the signs that America is going out of power, man. You know? These are the signs that America's going out of power, man. Matter of fact, let's go. Let's continue on in that job. Let's keep, let's continue on in that job. It says, um, matter of fact, I'm gonna jump up. Let's see. This job eighteen and five said, "Yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine." See, so the wisdom of this man has been taken away. You know, it, you know, <clears throat> you see that this is so called his whole system as a whole is being is broken up, man. This is that broken reed, man. You know, everything that you know that kept you know was, was upkeep this place is being broken down, man. You know, it says the light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall. Not, and it's like and his candles shall be put out with him. So in his house, he, you know, there's no light in his house, man. You know, and he he don't know where he going. That's why he's tripping over things. That's why everything in America is not working right no more, man. And and you know the sign this place going out meaning what this system as a whole is gonna go out, man. You know because this is the face. Uh, this is the Edomite baby. This is the face of the so-called white man empire of the planet Earth, man. This is the you know. That's why I said his tongue walking through the earth. How has that been played out by way of America, man? So if, once this place go out, this this man is going to go out as a whole, man. You know? So it says, the steps of his strength shall be straightened. See? His own counsel shall cast him down. See? So guess what? This man, he's he put in straights, man. You know? He can't do what he want to do no more, man. You know, he can only go. You know, it's like a maze. That's that's what it, that's what he, that's where he's at right now. The Lord put this man in a maze now, man. You know, so he can only go a certain way, man. Which that's gonna lead to his destruction, man. You know, matter of fact, continue on. It says, for he is cast into a, a net by his own feet. See, cause he the one that's he the one that set the trap. But the Lord set it up where he put him in the maze where he going to walk into that trap, man. And he walketh upon a snare. And that's talking about ultimately those missiles, man. But this is the very same thing that put him in the power. This is going to be the very same to take him out of power, man. But guess what? The first signs of that is what? This man is losing it from the inside out, man. You know, because the only thing that's keeping his head above water is his military was, you know, his allies are going to turn on him, man. You know? So, man, we, we pretty much at the end of this, man, empire, man. And as you can see, the, as the article reads, the U.S. is failing, man. We out of here, 